Okay, here we are, another attempt at uh, making a uh, takedown video on the JR Carbine. The first attempt was made with my hat cam and that just induced nausea, so uh, we'll go with the fixed mount for this, this one. Okay, so here we are. Check, safe, clear, ready to go. Okay, first of all, we will take off the lower receiver. Hold on with these two screws at the back, and one screw holding the interchangeable mag well on the front. Oh, and just so you know, this isn't my real voice. I've disguised it so that I sound like a whiny Canadian. Okay. And there's our lower receiver, interchangeable mag well, standard AR trigger parts in there. Looks good. Okay, now with the fore end, I've been uh, looking around and not having a correct punch or brass drift. I found a key with a hard plastic coating on it. It should be non-marring for the uh, for the finish on the lock ring. And there we go. This unscrews for quite a while. Getting there. Still good. There we go. And it looks like a uh, standard AR type uh, barrel nut in there. Okay. So now on the back, same thing, trusty key. Get it into a notch there. Try not to mar the castle nut. Ricochet it off. Did it come loose? Yep. Okay. Loosen that. This is under spring pressure here now. And the buffer, buffer spring. And there it is. Standard AR parts again. This wrench is totally overkill for this little Allen wrench or Allen screw, but it's all I got at the moment. That comes out. A very poor paint job that I put on there because it was an incredibly shiny silver. And there's our bolt. Quarter turn. It comes apart, firing pin retainer, firing pin and spring. That's pretty much it. So to reassemble, line everything up just right, or not, as the case may be. There we go. Slide it back in. Find a rag. Okay. Handle sits into a nice little scallop in the bolt. There we go. Snug that up a little bit. Oops. Okay, now I think we'll put the lower receiver back on. Just so the uh, end plate on the, where the receiver lines up. Now I 
will actually get my torque wrench and uh, make sure these are torqued to the correct rating when I'm done here. But I doubt that that's interesting enough for you guys to watch. Okay. That's that. Buffer and spring. Get that started under the spring pressure. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we got it yet. Bit of a challenge here. Come on. There we go. Tighten it up till it seats. Back it off. Snug up the castle nut. I'm going to have to get a actual castle nut tool here eventually. But for now that'll hold it. Okay. Put the foreign back on. do it. I'll spend a little more time getting this lined up also here later. That feels pretty good. Looking for a spot to give it a tap without ruining the finish again. Nope, yep, that didn't do it. functional.